How's it going everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how this old GTX 760 runs the new Resident Evil 3 remake. But before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe down below and thank you for watching. While I must say, I am impressed with this old graphics card as it handles this uh, game on 1080p real well with good FPS. Now let me show you my settings. As you can see I'm on 1080p and I am using DirectX 11 but I must say that DirectX 12 works well on this too. Uh, maybe 2 to 4 FPS less on average I would say but overall they both work good. No issues at all. And these are the settings I would recommend for anybody who's using this graphics card. Uh, to have good visuals and at the same time good FPS so you can enjoy the game and I must also add here that I have this card overclocked by 100 megs on the core and 300 megs on the memory clock which is pretty much standard overclock that you should be able to get out of just about any modern uh, Nvidia graphics card and there is some good results too here also those of you who are new to my channel and you see the way I record the the gameplay here to show you the best possible results if you want the most accurate best FPS performance then you come to the right channel I try to uh, you know give you the most accurate ways because I still believe a lot of the older hardware is still good and especially if it's really hard to get some of the new stuff you could hang with your old stuff for many years to come and in this case this graphics card is still real good when it comes to this game
Well, there you have it. For those of you who still stayed for this uh, video here, um, as you could see, really good performance in my opinion here. Uh, stay tuned. I'll be making other videos for some other 7th generation, 700 generation uh, GTX cards like 770 and 780Ti. See how well they run these games. This particular game, I mean. So thank you for watching and goodbye.